Hello, my name is Michael Flower. Welcome to part three of this IDW series. Within this part, we're going to look at look, looking at multiple tables using the Ingress database workbench. We're going to continue using the desktop that we've had set up from parts one and two. Uh, I'm going to launch IDW from within my SUSE Linux desktop by double clicking on IDW bin. And we're going to be using the same data source that we've been using in the previous demonstrations too. Okay, let's open up our existing Ingress instance. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to concentrate uh, initially on looking at the uh, the country data, the country table within demo DB. So let's drill down and find that country table. by highlighting tables and drilling down and just right clicking on country and generate select statement to give us an idea about the data that's in that particular table. So here's the data that's in the country table, a select statement with three columns and by right clicking and execute all we should be able to see in the rightmost pane on the bottom uh, the results of that select statement. So here are the countries that are stored away within that particular table on the right hand side, 18, 18 countries there. Okay, what I'm now going to do is um, build up a select statement interactively, blank out the, uh, the select statement I had so far and within the SQL scrapbook I'm now going to right click and I'm now going to launch something called SQL Query Builder. SQL Query Builder is a way of building select statements uh, interactively so we can add tables to a query and, jo and specify particular joins for those tables as well. Um, notice initially there aren't any tables there so I right click in this pane and say add table and we're going to start off by specifying the country table that we saw a moment ago. Okay and so notice now I've got the list of all the columns which are in the country table and above I've got a select asterisk from ingress.country, ingress being the owner of the table. I'm now going to add another another table to this query. Um, so if I right click within the same pane and say add table, and we're going to add in the table that we saw in, in lesson two, which is the airport table. Okay, and these are all the columns which are within this table. And let's expand this pane out, uh, this, this particular table out as well. And we notice in here we've got some um, delimiters. We've got a little key there to highlight that this is a, a country code which is a primary key of the country table and an IATA code which is the primary key of the airport table and also we've got a foreign key there the, at the airport table also contains country code. And notice above we've now got the, the two tables, the ingress country and the ingress airport table. At the moment that would be a Cartesian product so we want to specify a join and we can do that by simply dragging the, uh, the, the column, country code column to match its appropriate column in the airport table. And in the bu in above now, that's now it's specified, it's a join condition. And if we right click on this join, we can specify that we want to do a different kind of join. So if I right click and specify, we can specify the, specify the join type, and we might decide to make it a, a left outer join instead, because there may be countries that don't have airports assigned to them yet. So there's quite a lot of flexibility here. We can edit the SQL above, uh, and we can still continue to add extra tables if we wish within the table pane beneath. For now, I'm going to run this piece of SQL by right-clicking and select Run SQL. And there's the result of our SQL. So it's showing me all the country codes and their appropriate airports as well. And if we drill down and scroll down, sorry, we should be able to see the UK, the Great British Airports as well there, including the one that we had at Sheffield, Sheffield International uh, in the previous exercise. OK, let's edit this query. OK, we might, for instance, decide we want to restrict um, and specify a where clause. So I might be only interested in those uh, in countries who've got airports with a, an I to code beginning with the letter S. So let's add a where clause where airport 
dot and as soon as I specify the airport dot it'll then list out the columns which are in that particular table so these are all the columns which are in the airport table it's the IATA code I'm interested in and I'm going to use the like predicate this is a, um, a character data type of some kind so I'm going to say S asterisk SS percent sorry which will be all the airport IATA codes beginning with the letter S and again right click run SQL Okay, and now within the output screen, we notice that the only con the only airports we're seeing are those with an IATA code of SYD, SIT, SNN, and so on.